Alright, so on this episode, we're traveling the rear of this travel. Come up to this uh, mountain range area that is set up by Mammoth Roads. And we're just kind of exploring and following the road around. You'll notice off in the distance we got this little desert city going on over here. This city was created by Mammoth herself. Just a little little town, little outpost that is out in the desert by the pyramids. The idea is that, I don't know, maybe this place will have some lore or some secrets about the pyramids, which was is intended to be a dungeon for this area. Crescent Moon Sands, that's what it is. Crescent Moon mm. Sands. And her intentions were, and I think she did quite well at this, is that she made the much like an Arabian fields with, you know, block houses cluttered together, crowded, etc., etc. Plus lots of access to the rooftops. Give that sort of, like she said, Assassin's Creed type feel to it. So you can just like run across and go. Run across the rooftops and be like, I am Batman or something, I don't know. But she's got all sorts of stuff, including we got we got pink sheep. And apparently you're not supposed to ask. So I'm not gonna ask. Pink sheep. Library. Oh wait, no, nope, that's Taylor, it's not library. It's because there's no books in this desert. They're used for fire. So yeah, there's more buildings that she plans over here. You see, you got she's got the layout for it right here. Hasn't quite built them all yet. That's okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. But eventually, what we've agreed upon is that uh, somewhere in here there'll be lore, some books you can read based on the pyramids and whatnot. And then we're gonna have a road that leads out of here somewhere. And. Uh, It'll be mixed with sandstone and just normal sand to make it look like it was, um, it's been there all along. It's just been hidden by the sands of time. See what I did there? Sands of time. And out here further, we've got our pyramids. You can see them off in the distance. It's probably going to, well, they're close to the fire pyramid, so I think that's when we'll start at. And the general idea is that I haven't written down the lore or anything. The general idea is that there's some long forgotten king that has mummified himself inside the massive pyramid in the center, and he's like some sort of mummy lord or something like that. And if you kill him, you get some you know, some fat loots, fat with a ph. And uh, but first, you got to figure out how to get in there because it will be set up where there's absolutely no way in. You can't break your way in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the previous lore will read that there's four pyramids on the outside, and each one tells a, tells a tale of how this mummy lord reached immortality, or, or something along the lines. And then, so you come over here, and then find your leather, and voila, your pyramid will open up, and it closes. And this particular one is the fire pyramid. It will probably be called the fire pyramid, uh, but you won't see that at the label. Because that's my mod that I have set up. And it's regened. I think. Maybe not. There it is. So there's no creepers in here. You're lucky. I denied spawns for the creepers, but anything else can spawn. Um, and. Uh, Allowed checks access, chest access, access, of course, and of course deny TNT, so no blowing your way up. And if you're not a member, you won't be able to mine. Of course, I still need to test that though. But you come down here. I still need to take these out and put them with sandstone. But you're going to enter the fire pit. Da -da -da -da. And like I said, up there in the front where you saw the letter, there'll be a chest with a t uh, chest that you can open up with a book in there that'll read about the lore about some sort of fire access and something like that. But in there it will talk about how he had to uh, 
cross a lake of fire or plunge into a pool of fire to obtain some sort of obscure material or something like that. So what do we do here? Well, take a leap of faith. Oh, and I didn't make it. Darn it. Oh, man. So you gotta be fully healed, and you probably gotta have armor to get in there. But I've tested it out, so I'm gonna spawn back there. Oops. I'm going to teleport back to the fire pyramid. And we're gonna do it again. And let's say we have We have a full set of diamond armor. And let's try it again since we're full health. We'll go on through there. There we go, see? And go through some water. And we'll fall down in here. And this is our, our area. What I plan to do is I put down blaze spawners here. But six of them spawned, and I thought that was pretty too too much for this area. So what I might do is I might edit it so it only spawned like two blaze spawners or something like that. But there's some like it's like a treasure room and whatnot. And yeah, some a golden axe plus three attack damage. And stuff you can take from there. You got a sword with plus four attack damage, and then a hover. The answer to one of the riddles in here. You know, have a number or something like that. And then, since you can't obviously go back the way you came, you can climb up. And I plan on putting, I don't know, some sort of redstone tree here that will open up a gate after you cross a certain point. Or have a button down here that way you can get out and then have it close back up so people can't cheat and get back in through the wrong way. That's why the pyramids are taking forever. So that's the fire pyramid. Let's go to the maze pyramid. And rather than walk in there, I'm just going to teleport. And then again, this one will have some sort of clever chest in here with some sort of lore about this pyramid and what, what quest he had to do in order to. Reach, ooh, and I get lag, in order to reach some sort of immortality. So we come on down here, and there's a blank area, but there's a lever over here, so I'll get that lever. And, and there's more. You'll probably take damage from dropping down there, but and obviously there's no way back up. Even though so you're stuck down here. So we'll go further down. And we enter the maze area. And I realize if you're like me, you have the mod to give you the mini map, it'll probably be easy for you. But it's it's a rather intensive map. I don't know why I'm getting lag. God dang it. So you know, there's a dead end that leads down to lava. You come this way, you come back this way, and you get kind of hit. Now we're going back the way we came. Oh, oh, and we even put some chests in here that I'll fill up with random goodies. So if you do get lost, I'll reward you a little bit. So we're still coming through here. Don't know where we're going. Oh, there's a way this way. We've doubled back on ourselves. Oh, and hey, look, there's the way out. But we can't, we don't want to go out yet because we didn't find what we needed. So come back down here. I'm going through these areas. There's another chest that we'll put some random stuff in. It's a dead end. Oh my gosh. So confusing. See, I made this. I need to confuse myself. Another chest. I'm trying not to use the mini map. I'm trying to leave it expanded out so I don't. But in order to make this. See, I don't want to do that. See, I just left it open long enough that someone can pause it and oh, well, it's the stuff you get. Not like a whole lot of people are going to see this anyway. So I'll come down through here, and it looks like I need to come this way. And come down this way. Come back over this way. Oh, 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 missed it. Dang. 
Alright. So here. Yep. There's a nice little room. We'll have a little chest in here. And maybe this is where I'll put the, uh, the lore or something like that. Maybe a little bit more lore. But you come back in here, and here's the real goodies. You come in here. There's an empty room. But again, there's nothing in here that we need. Well, again, the lore will say something about how he had to reach the depths of the earth in order to obtain what he truly wanted. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully do this without drowning. I forgot. That shouldn't be there, but there it is. Come up here, and this isn't the area either, but we'll put some nice, put some nice treasure in there for the end of time. So we come back down in here, and I really don't know why that's there, but I might keep it there because it's air. So we'll come up here, come down this. Oh no! There. Okay. Up here. There was, there was a, another air spot. I gotta fix this. No, that wasn't an air spot. That's just uneven water. So we'll come out here, and then when you see the blocks again, this will be. This is region guarded, so you can't actually. Can't actually take this stuff, but this big chest right here will be full of goodies, and this will have an answer that you need. And then, how do you get out of here? Well, you gotta go back a long way. I may have to go back a very long way to get to those stairs that we originally found. So there's that one, and then let's do the another pyramid. This one's the most simplistic of them all. So again, there'll be, there'll be another portal here with a, a chest telling you how you to go to the nether world in order to obtain another piece of item. So we come on through here, and this is my favorite part. I worked so hard to get this done. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what are those? They're black guards. They're not actually real. Oh my gosh. You notice they were... They were not normal skeletons. And we got blazes in there. Oh, and they knock you off. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Ah! And they got. Yep, yeah, so that, this one's gonna be the fun one. So let's go. Let's go back. So that way I can show you what exactly happened, and I'll go and create it. Oops. And then we're in creative mode. Right? No, we're not. Let's go into creative mode. We'll step through. Alright, so we had blazes in here. We got a nice little area that's going to make it hard to walk through. And then here, I created these black guards. And you'll notice that they spawn. So, let's get rid of it. And it's set up so only two or three will spawn at a time. Actually, I shouldn't use lava because I want to show you something. Let me get out the diamonds. So there's a black guard. Normally skeletons only have 20 hit points. I created this one with 53. Get rid of that one so another one is fine. Alright. 53 hit points. So I'm trying to kill these guys. Come on. They're carrying a bow that has I want to say punch two. On it. There it is. And I have it set up so it'll drop. There it is. So now.
now we have ourselves, if you want to farm it out, a black bow that has punch two and flame one on it. So we can just go ahead and take care of these guys. But you gotta do it quick, you gotta get in here and figure out the thing. What I might do is I might put the chest somewhere else so you're not constantly bothered by these guys. But yeah, they take forever to kill and they're gonna be nuis a nuisance for you as you cross this area. Because they have knockback. So if I take off I'll be like, come at me, bro. Let's see if I can kill them in the meantime. Oh my god, there they are. Ah, uh, no! No! Oh god! Yeah. So it'll be fine. Anyway, I had a little bit too much fun in that one. Um. Yeah, that's that's my three pyramids. I don't have the other two done left. What I plan to do for let's get back there. And I'll show you one. And then we'll close out. And just go to the one pyramid. Like this close it. Where is my big pyramid? They're out here somewhere. Okay, so what I plan on doing is, um, instead of making items, because items will be a pain in the ass, what I plan on doing is somewhere in that big pyramid, I'm going to have an entryway. And then I'm going to have four buttons near that entryway, and each, each one will have a number on it. And then next to that will be like a sign or a book or something that will read that'll say a riddle that will require you to put in the numbers that you found in the other pyramids. And then once you put them in correctly, the door will open up, you'll go inside this pyramid, and then it'll be a short walk, probably not that big, into a palace area. And the mummy lord himself will be there. And you can take out the mummy lord and uh, maybe acquire what he's wielding, and then there'll be chests that you can loot as well. That's really long down the ride because I got a lot of redstone to do for that for the combination door. I got I got to make up the lore. So, but I thought I'd show what I have so far, and uh, that's pretty much it for this time around. Um, again, we are looking for people to uh, come on and test this out or help build some stuff or create an area all to your own. You want it. Um, so if you want to do that, first you need to download the Forge Mod Loader, Forge 1.6.4. I'll give links and websites to that as I load this up. So you download that and then seek out either Malin or myself and uh, we'll get you the IP address with which you can get on and then we'll go from there. So you can help test out the world guards that I set up record any problems with it, um, ask for more, or give suggestions, etc, etc. So, you know, that's pretty much it for what I've done so far, and uh, probably be a while for the next video, so I'll keep in touch, and you guys know when it's coming out.